we are in Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, Pittsburgh has been remade and reimagined, guys. Think 24 miles of riverfront trails, beautiful parks, and historic attractions, uh, home to 90 neighborhoods. The borough feels authentic and unpretentious. No visit is complete without a trip to the Strip District or PNC Park. You can also take a ride up the incline or a stop at the Andy Warhol Museum. The architecture buffs love Pittsburgh for the amazing downtown buildings. Hollywood producers love Pittsburgh as well. The city has even been called the Hollywood of the East. In fact, some of the major movies uh, was the latest Batman movie that was made here in Pittsburgh. We are in a historic district here, walking uh, on Arch, Arch Street, I do believe, toward Randy Land, which is a colorful folk art house. The owner is Randy Gilson. So I am looking forward to it. We are currently on Arch Street and Sampsonia Street intersection. They have a cool little design sign here. So we are heading toward Randy Land, which is up ahead. It's this building over here, buddy, this yellow one. It's, I think Eric's gonna love it. It's got lots of art, and that's why we came here, because Eric loves art. It's like, this. so this, this guy bought that house on the cheap, and he said, I'm gonna use my creativity and make it a center point of this neighborhood. And that's the result of his artistic abilities right there. <laughs> Here it is, up close and personal. What do you think, Eric? Oh yeah, I'll make, yeah. They stand Michelangelo. Shut, even, even the ground is colored. Eric, look at Look at the mural on the side of this building. Yeah, very interesting. Look at all this goodness. I honestly didn't think we can go inside, but here's the courtyard over here. There's a brand new flat screen TV for you from 1965. The artwork is everywhere. Wow, this place is awesome. Don't step on the alligators. Did the picture turn out okay? The family pic? Oh. What do you think, Eric? This is not art. It's not art? What is this? Old stuff. Old stuff? <laughs> okay. I guess everyone's got a definition of art.
some classic bicycles. Are you Andy? Uh, yeah. The legend? You are youngin. You did an amazing job. I just want to say it. I I mean this this makes the whole neighborhood shine. Uh, it's amazing. You, thank you. Can I ask you how long it took you to do this? Well, uh, I, I've been here for 45 years on the north side. I've been here for 94 years. I have ADHD, obesity, and autism. So I um I'm always like I, my mind is a broken tape measure. And I can't, um, I, I, um, I can't uh, do most things people do because um, I just, um, I just can't figure things out. I have to, I just do my own thing, and I teach everyone that we're all craft of sort. And so what? We don't have to be the same. So whatever we are, we need to shine. That's an awesome lesson. I really, I just want to shake your hand. Thank well, you thank so you. much. Thank you so much. Uh, peace, joy, and love. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank Best you. of luck. Well, that was a special treat to actually meet the man himself, Randy, who put this thing together and shake the guy's hand. That was absolutely incredible. The guy is super famous. And according to Data USA, here are some statistics from the 2019th census uh, for uh, Pittsburgh, PA. There's a population of roughly 300,000. The median age is 33.3. Uh, the poverty rate here in Pittsburgh is 20.5%. The median household income, 53799 And the 2019 median property value is $149,000. This building is made entirely of glass. Pretty sick. See if we can go inside. Oh, it's nice in here. Oh. Right, let's go out there. Some cool dinosaurs. We got T-Rex in the house. Triceratops. And this is mom's favorite dinosaur. Made out of glass. And if I'm not mistaken, these buildings are owned by PNC. They look like castles and they're covered in glass. Cool little fountain. It's a Monday, so people are taking their lunch breaks.
And I believe this area is called the square where they have all the restaurants, if I'm not mistaken. Hilton in there. Come on, buddy. Wait. Aren't you glad you wore your sneakers, mister? We're gonna make a left over here. What a lively city here in downtown. We are on, we're gonna make a left on Wood Street. Straight. Is that a theater? Warner Center? Not sure if it's a theater or not, but we can certainly go check it out. We'll see what's inside. The Warner Center. Oh, these beautiful ceilings. Is it okay? It's a shopping center. Eric gets to cool off for a second. Yeah. So. Just the shopping center is what this is. We're checking out the milkshake factory. That's awesome. Ooh. I'm excited, guys. S'more. Midnight cookie and cream. Chocolate dipped strawberry. Chocolate tear. Is that what you want, bud? Jake's Shake. All right. Cool little place. Eric's Poop. What do you think, Eric? Good? Yes. Eric approves. So niche.com gives Pittsburgh an overall grade of A+. Uh, they get a B for public schools, B for housing. Nightlife gets an A+. 
Diversity A, Jobs B, Good for Families A minus, Cost of Living is a B plus, Health and Fitness A minus, Weather gets a C, Crime and Safety also gets a C. There's 759 reviews from the locals. Let's check them out. This one's five out of five stars. Pittsburgh has done an amazing job of renovating itself in the last 40 years. It offers a beautiful downtown triangle with many museums and amazing local eateries in the communities that surround the downtown area. I think Pittsburgh's biggest hindrance has been their dem democratic leadership and not allowing different political views and their large faith community to help influence the vision and the future. All right, we got to make a left on Liberty Street. Well, that'd be a nice uh, little street to check out, but we'll go this way. Another person writes, uh, Pittsburgh as a whole has some of the best food ever. Another person gives it four out of five stars. Uh, Pittsburgh is a city with opportunities in science, technology, healthcare, and education. Now, uh, some of the movies that were shot here in Pittsburgh, PA include my Rainey's Black Bottom is a Netflix show started in 2017. Then you have Fences, um, another um, movie, Flashdance from 1983, a Pittsburgh classic. There's also Out of the Furnace. Uh, happiest season which was premiered in 2020 wonder boys in the year 2000 adventureland in the year 2009 me and earl and the dying girl 2015 and of course the dark knight rises 2012, one of my favorites. There's Eric and Logan. You can feel the mist from the fountain. Feels great because it's 90 today. And there's the incline that takes you up to the overlook like two dollars a trip or maybe less and you have the stadium in the background I believe that's the PNC Stadium Eric stand, stand there look at daddy for a second okay
Point State Park sits at the confluence of Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh's three rivers. The triangular plot of land at the tip the goal of the Golden Triangle. It's a significant place um, in Pittsburgh's story and the birthplace of this community. It is a gathering place for Pittsburgh's residents. The county and the Commonwealth for grand civic events and is a point of pride in this region. This park is owned and managed by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. University of Pittsburgh, first institution of higher education west of Allegheny and north of the Ohio River, founded in 1787. We're gonna try to get into this building right here. Cathedral of Learning, built in 1926 to 1937. Let's check it out. It's the gift sensor. They got some matryoshkas. 
is what they're called. There's a beautiful view of the skyline. Our, our car is parked way down there. I can see it. Can you guys spot our car? Eric, don't go in there, please. Let's see if you can. Let's see the opposite side of the building. So it's floor 36. The highest floor in the building. Look how pretty that is. There's the botanical gardens over there. There's a cool break. Checking out this beautiful fountain. Henry Clay Frick Fine Arts Building. This is uh, Shenley Park in 1911. A design competition was held to create a memorial to Mary Shenley, whose gift of 300 acres made the creation of Shenley Park possible. The winning design, a song to nature, was announced in 1913 and described after its dedication in 1918 as a happy combination of poetry and passion. Shakespearean play.
Who do we have here, mister? Why aren't you guys singing? Talking to me? Yeah, they need some more uh, opera singers. You want to sing? Go up there. Where's mom? Getting drinks. There's a cute little carousel back here. Get some drinks, some ice cream, some snacks, and if you want something a little fancier, there's a restaurant here. I think it's called the Plaza, maybe. Shawarma. Oh, that's interesting. I'd like a drink too. Yeah, I, I don't want a slushy. Oh yeah, thank you. Sure. Sweet. I don't even see those waters. Can you actually buy some? That's one way to travel. A beef sh shawarma, I think it's. It's sh mm. sh Can you take it out so I can see it real quick? It looks like you're gonna spill the Pepsi. Sorry. So it's a wrap with. Gotcha. Let's see it. Oh, very nice. It's got tomatoes and spices inside and some beef. Looks you good. Try this is yogurt. I don't know. This is, this is a pickle. Here, pickle? Mm. There's a baby pickle, too. Eric loves baby pickles. The music all over here. Uh, she said something about asbestos or something. Yeah. It's pretty cool.
So we ended up going to the Museum of Natural History. We had two options, visit the zoo or check out the museum. Considering it's 90 degrees outside, we decided to go with the museum. So according to trip advisors, According to trip advisors, here are some of the top attractions in Pittsburgh. Number one is Phipps Conser uh, Conservatory and Botanical Garden. Number two, Mount Washington. Uh, three is the PNC Park. Four is the inclines, the various inclines. Five is the Strip dist District. Six is the Bicycle Heaven. I believe that's a museum. Seven is the Carnegie Museum of Natural History. Eight is the Heinz Field. Nine is the Andy Warren uh, Warhol Museum. Uh, number 10 is Senator John Heinz History Center. And number 11 is the Point State Park. Just some of the top attractions here. All right, this is our final stop here in Pittsburgh. We're gonna check out the Overlook. Let's see. This absolutely stunning view of the city. Michelle, wait. Check this out. Don't lean too uh, close to this fence. Wow. Too much. Look at that beautiful view of Pittsburgh, PA, guys. Wow. Incredible. The city of bridges. The home of the Steelers. Check this out. Pittsburgh is the city that never sleeps just like New York. And it's majestic skyline at nighttime is absolutely breathtaking. We are here on the platform. Check out the views. A lot prettier at night time, in my humble opinion. <laughs> 